Hey Pringers, you know what season it is? It's motorcycle season. That's right. It's time to get out the old Honda and uh, if you've been watching the show at all lately we've uh, painted up another set of bodywork for this guy. So I'm going to roll it out of here and uh, start disassembling it so that we can swap the bodywork over to the correct gold color. Maybe we'll even give the old thing a little bit of a wiping down and then we'll go for a ride. I don't know how much this will get done today, but we'll get zero done if we don't start now. Very typical of this part of the world is it goes from snowy and miserable to where's my motorcycle virtually overnight. So uh, the snow finished, well, the snow is still melting, but should be gone very soon. And motorcycle season around here is short enough that we don't want to miss too much of it. So I'm going to get started. Part of me is a little bit sad to take this part just because I put all this together 25 years ago. But, you know, I have to be pretty happy that it, for just rough old shit, it lasted 25 years without getting a scratch. So, just gonna put it on the shelf in case I ever need it. Alright, let's dig in. At the risk of jinxing it, I'm gonna suggest that there's really only two, I hope, really shitty parts of this job. One of them is the typical uh, early 70s bike uh, rat's nest of wiring. You can see a lot of these have numbers on them that I wrote with masking tape and a pen many years ago because when you're colorblind um, and all of this is color coded, and of course it fades, and over the years you've got basically gray and brownish gray. So I've uh, labeled everything the best I could and everything was working. I have to say everything works perfectly on this bike when I took it apart. So that'll be the goal. <laughs> get it apart and get all this shit back in and everything still work. So I don't know why I'm photographing this. I'm not going to remember anything here. So We've got the wiring off and the wheel off and uh, what this is all about is we have to slide the actual fork tubes down to get these guys out. So, really, most of the work to this job is putting these little pieces on. And I think one of the reasons that these are painted to match the bodywork only on the first couple of years is because uh, probably this was causing a bottleneck on the assembly line waiting for painted pieces. So later models, starting 73, 4, 5, somewhere in there, these were chrome, the headlight bucket was black, uh, regardless of color. So I think one of the things that makes the earlier ones special is uh, bodywork painted to match, uh, even on the forks and the headlight buckets. So that little stuff that they would have eliminated as they uh, needed to speed up production. This is another one of those, I'm skipping most of the swearing parts. It's actually, that all looks very nice sitting on the floor, but it's kind of, it's, you know, if you work on these all the time, it's probably not too bad, but these things are so reliable, I hardly ever work on it. So this is uh, probably only the second time this stuff's been off since I started riding the bike, and the other times has been just to put tires or brakes or whatever. These early ones also have these nice uh, uh, accordion-style fork gators, which, uh, you know, add a, a certain vintage kind of look. And, of course, later ones, that one's getting pretty out of style by the mid-70s, so they don't have that anymore, but I think it... Uh, Nice to delineate the earlier bike along with the painted bodywork. So, I don't know, more stuff that maybe only I find nice, but whatever. It's funny how fast it just looks like another derelict, eh? So, oh, you found your ball, eh? Okay, I told her to go find her ball and she did, so I guess I guess that means it's uh, time to go play with Menace Dog. Time for the first of the new pieces to go on. Let's see, got the fork right off there. And uh, 
these guys slide in between the pieces there. There's a rubber here, rubber on top. It just kind of has to push in there. Something like this. Hmm. Of course, every part of this operation could go very wrong, so I'm going to be careful. And I think that means I should probably use two hands. So here at uh, Don't Know Where the Tripod Is Television, we're going to have to put this down. And oh, look, it looks better already. Here we can see the difference between the correct reflector and what was on it when I got it, which is like, you know, 10 speed stuff. So these are the little things why I did this. And these are the things that didn't really bother me when this was a $500 beater. But now that they're kind of classic, we might as well make a little bit extra effort, put as many of the correct pieces on as we can. Well, you're back then. Well, Prankers is out menacing around. I'm going to keep at the Honda. I did not get it finished uh, yesterday. Matt came over and we ended up playing with the Model T for a bit. So I'm going to uh, carry on. I got the worst of it done actually. The ears that hold the headlight on are back in. That means the forks are back together, the brakes are back on, this type of thing. So here's how far we got. So far, so good. That's uh, literally the worst part of the job, except maybe the wiring in the headlight. So I'm going to go with the headlight bucket and start swearing at that. Well, I'm glad the camera wasn't on for that. Uh, <laughs> that is a nightmare every time you get into those. That is just, you do not want to go in there. Not only is it very difficult to get it all hooked up right, this bike has had an interesting life, I think, and bits and pieces of this wiring harness might be from other machines, so I had all, uh, I had labeled it all with tape after figuring out what was wrong with it when I bought it, because when I bought this thing, nothing worked. It was a nightmare. So, uh, with a certain amount of luck and applied profanity, we've gotten it looking good. Now, the test, neutral, left, left, good, yes, yes, headlight, okay, good, headlight, low, headlight, high, good, off, good, brake light, Okay, well, and uh, high beam light, yes, unbelievable. Okay, uh, I know the oil light should be on there. For some reason, it uh, it's just a little fussy. I'm not worried about it. Uh, it does work after, like, once the engine is warm, the light works, so I think it's just a sticky switch. Nothing to do with anything in the headlight bucket. So, at this point, if everything's working, better double check. Okay, and yes, okay. Time for a very, very half-assed uh, detailing job and then put the rest of it back together. I'm just gonna kind of spray this down with a degreaser, kind of wipe it all down and then we'll put it together and then we'll give it a, a final tidying. Just might as well clean the stuff that I haven't cleaned in 20 years. Let's go, the worst of it's over. I think, who knows. Okay, been looking forward to this. This is the fun stuff. The rest of that is a nightmare. Of course, these are notoriously delicate. That's why they were so broken when I got it. So a little grease on the pins. And here it goes. If the camera turns off, it's because it broke.
Whew. Okay. Luckily, you do not have to come off very often. Okay, here goes Mr. Patchy. All oh, that seems to be intact. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, tank. Thing with the tank is I haven't put the petcock on or the uh, the lid yet so that's uh, that's an anything can go wrong situation again so uh, we'll just see what happens I think I'm gonna try and salvage the lid from the from the yellow tank it's in much better shape than either of the others that I have so I think that's probably the best plan the petcock on the yellow tank is fair. I may decide to use that as well. Or I think, because I just had that other one apart, cleaned it up, I might try that one first. Uh, they are uh, not fantastic. So we're just going to hope. And I think either way, I'm going to order a couple of uh, rebuild kits, which I should have done when I ordered the rest of the shit. But there you go. Okay, I'm going to install the tank but I'm not going to hook up the lines yet. I'm just going to put the tank on and we're going to put a little gas in and make sure that the petcock functions. I've installed it. Uh, you know, the o-ring seems good. I put, you know, we rebuilt it all but I did not buy the main seal for it. Nevertheless that can be serviced with it on the bike so I'm going to go ahead and put it on and uh, if the seal between the petcock and the tank is holding, the rest of it I can deal with it later. But uh, for now, I'm going to do this. Always make sure the tank cannot be hit. Seems a little close to me. Touches. Great. Now we got problems. All right. Uh, looks great, but the uh, at some point in the past the bike has obviously gone over, and there's a little tab that stops the. Uh, handlebars from turning far enough to hit the tank and that little tab is bent so I'm going to have to uh, repair that. Uh, I remember it being close on the other tank but it's just one of those things that uh, it missed on the other tank by a couple of thousandths of an inch and on this tank it hits by a couple of thousandths of an inch so I need to find a couple of thou somewhere. I may even just drag the welder over here and just build the little tab up a tiny bit with a bit of a weld and then file it off and paint it black. So that's a bit of a problem, but it's not the end of the world. I think I'll carry on and put the uh, lid on the tank and then we'll uh, have a look and then we'll put the seat on and uh, that'll be it. You know, then it all needs to be cleaned and then we should actually probably try and fire it up and whatever. Let's go, Menace. I actually forgot that I had this bike. I think bike is generous. It's a frame with some parts on it. But it's 1971 Honda, so it'll be close. Is there anything more ghetto than used brake pads? Probably no. not much. Today's ghetto achievement unlocked. Do you want to pull it out of there? Or is no. this a better shot? No. More work to pull it out than this Plus, who doesn't like kneeling in thistles? 
how many of these tools are actually going to make it back with us all over here. Not using. Achievement number two, unlocked. This is why I want to do this now because all the tools and where everything goes is still not completely lost to the sands of time. Does the tip of it still have the little nibs? For yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's not even broken. Nice. Usually one of those is broken right off. Yeah, like on the one that's on the bike. It's still a pretty major win. We'll just throw this in here and take everything out. See mine? The tray of goodness. That's it then. Uh, got her more or less put together. I've just got a little piece of foam taped on that uh, one fork there until I get the uh, the steering stop uh, straightened up so I'm gonna roll the thing around to the shop and do that but I think just to confirm that the petcock is working we'll try and start it and uh, you can see some fluid under the kickstand there that's just for me oiling the chain that's not a fuel leak it looks like we have a functioning unit here I've had this I put some gas in and I've had it on reserve for a while and no leaks so Worth trying to start, I guess. Uh, let's see how she goes. Finally putting something together. Yeah, good work. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that, that important stuff. box. Done. Done. Uh, so close to done that we're going to have the done celebration early. Can you fire this shit up? All right. Pull up your pants. Look at I greased up the Kickstarter handle. Oh, we better fucking see that. <laughs> it's the detail. Okay. Hey, Franker's is super helping again. Uh. All right. Hey, look out, Menace. See if she'll go.
I uh, really wanted to get a shot of it in the sun. Oh, there we go, finally. A little bit of sun. Actually pretty close to the original color. You tell me if that footage is better than on a tripod. Oh, I have no doubt. I fucking ran you down. I didn't fall over. That's great. Okay, well, we'll call it done for now. In early May, the Western Canadian Frankers emerges from its den of junked cars and resumes its solitary life of fucking around. Soggy but content, the Frankers is oblivious to the visitor to her territory. Seldom spotted this far east of the city, the Western Canadian Trev makes a rare appearance. A good-natured and robust character, the Western Canadian Trev is nevertheless a force to be reckoned with. The Frankers, upon detecting the intruder, unleashes the full force of her primary territorial defense mechanism, namely, to annoy the outsider into submission. The Trev, however, is a firm character and difficult to annoy. To demonstrate his lack of ill intent, he calmly marks his territory. As if to say, whatever, man. The Frankers, trying again and again, is still unable to annoy the Trev to the point where it will leave. The Trev, now mildly annoyed, half-heartedly gives chase, but this only encourages the Frankers. Soon, the entire ritual degrades into basically a fucking around free-for-all at very high speeds. While the Trev does not accelerate as quickly as the Frankers, once he is up to speed, he has the advantage of a tremendous amount of momentum. This the Frankers must be careful of. Eventually, a sort of detente is reached, and the Frankers realizes that the Trev is going to do whatever it wants. And so, as the last of the snow melts, the Western Canadian Trev takes his leave. In time, he may return. But for now, he just wants a little peace and quiet. We hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the territorial behaviors of the Western Canadian Frankers and Trev, and hope you will join us again for more of this type of bullshit. where we fixed up that old Uga horn that Stephen found at an abandoned farm and I kind of want to mount it on the Model T but I don't really want to drill any holes in the body and I don't really want to disturb anything that's already there so uh, I've come up with an idea where we can mount it to the existing coil box bracket which is very heavy duty because it uh, holds the coils and so I think if I build a little bracket that we can weld right to that it should be pretty hard to tell that I've ever done anything. Gary's uh, picked me up a bit of an eighth inch uh, mild steel plate and we're just going to cut it and make a uh, reasonable facsimile of something that looks like it might have existed uh, back in the day. 
Okay, hit me. Are you rocking? Mm -hmm. You want oh, some goo? Yeah, I'm gonna need some goo. Probably should have some ear protection. That's gonna be obnoxiously loud. Okay. Do you have any of that now? Huh? Do you have any of that now? What? I've noticed the Tinnitus? last year I've had. Oh, I've had it for so long. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. No, I just have it every day, all the time. <laughs> It's actually a fire hazard now. <laughs> I have one glove. That's pretty good. Okay, what are we gonna fucking wreck? Nothing. Best way to do this, take the horn apart. We'll just pop, pop three marks in it. I want to grease it anyway. I forgot to do that when we got it going. Look at this place, man. Great screwdriver choice today. The, like, what the fuck is this? It's like it's one of those Christmas cracker gifts. That's about what we got here. Do we have anything that's not shit? Please. Yeah. Oh, too big? No. Way to build dramatic tension by waiting a few minutes before giving me that, though. Well, it'll be fun having a better... Did we get a good look at what we're not using? See, it's clearly from a different car. And so... I just, although in a lot of ways this is more in the spirit of this car, but I just thought, well, if somebody else can cobble one on there, then we can cobble one on there that's actually going to work. <laughs> well played to whoever put that in there. One for the Field Repair Hall of Fame. But it's not exactly, you know, like a seven-speed automatic here. Like, it's like, there's a motor part and a part that makes noise. Watch it. There. So we just got to put a little grease in there. Because I think when we cleaned everything up, the grease kind of got lost. So we'll put this, oh my god. Put this over here. Put this over here. Uh. Did you bring the grease from where the bike was? Nope, but I just wanted this to mark oh. that. Smart. And we should be about there. Oh, we got a center line on this side. Center line. That nice looking there. Pretty straight ahead. We can even copy the size. <laughs> That's a nice yeah, yeah, we got everything that a machinist could want. We got some bent eighth inch. We got some flattened off three nine thirty twos here. I'm jealous. That's too poopy. Here we're gonna pile it with 
mini fish hook pilot screw. They have some soda and pop on them, but do hey, it's chalk is so precise it'll just about hold them. I think we bought these in the machining tools known to man. Watch it effortlessly chew through an eighth of an inch of mild steel without stalling. Oh, might break the bit though. It's a miracle of modern engineered... Oh, the switch is fucked off now. Oh, we gotta drill all the holes, butthead. Jesus. It's only got a few more clicks in it. We better get busy. I'll just wire it on, eh? Invite your friends over. Hey, you guys got any uh, drilling to do? I'm your man. Yeah, that's right. As long as it's 1 16th of an inch. Listen to that, eh? It's gonna break. <laughs> the cracklies? That means you're getting somewhere, right? Let's go already. Now I gotta be careful with the switch. Okay. Can we pilot in once more because we're just we have such awesome equipment that What's the, where's the old girl? Perfect. No, we need to be bigger, but this is brand new, so it'll get us close, and then we'll just run it out. Oh, come on. Oh, oh fuck no. you. It's over. That's not good, though, really. Overall, that's more like it though. Next week's video will be all this machine. Yeah, do we trust our locations? Yes, we'll just come back and start oversizing them one at a time. Then. That's how most shops work, isn't it? <laughs> I'm the editor. None of that will ever go in. None of that will ever be in the video. Fuck yourself! <laughs> Come on, we're almost done. It's beer time. Are we chamfering? Quaker State. There was one other piece to grease. Might as well go heavy in here. Okay, 
quick. Good for another hundred years. That's fun. Now this goes like any which way you believe. And then this also does not matter. So if this is the top, then put it where it was. Yeah, except that it'll actually cool. fit this time. Did we nail all three on the first try? Okay. Offer it up. And then we'll take it off and weld it on. Right, there we'll there. Then we'll bend it here, kind of. And what is that? It's like 15 degrees. Yeah. It would still clear anyway, but I'd hate for it to be like bzzz, rattling against the hood when all we got to do is give it a little bit of a just heat. that, and that's enough. Be careful prepping. Yeah. Painting area here. Yeah, right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're in the <laughs> falling area. Yeah. Everybody likes a rattle can project. And it's refreshing to tea stuff, you know. It's like, hey, is it done? Yeah, you're done. Awesome. Is it Bert what? Definition of success is you're done. <laughs> you're done and it's already laying in the dirt. <laughs> Alright, let's hang it on. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll give the recommended 11 seconds for it to dry. Okay, that's enough. Then we dry by the time we get the older over there. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Go get Igor the welding troll. He will do it. Mm. Yeah. You can see we got the uh, old Milwaukee fire suppression team on the scene again today. Thanks guys. Uh, what else was I doing? Oh yeah, welding this on. Got our doodad here, got our four hapless Model T here, about to get butchered by more grandpa farm bullshit. The other exciting Model T update for this week is I got a coil cover from Matt at Strong's Garage. Of course he had multiple examples of exactly what I needed because I had a new one and it was too shiny. Uh, so that's on and fitting and I thought we'd have a very quick look at how we did the uh, wiring here. Not that that's really that exciting but uh, I took the wire from the original harness that was to this old horn. This is not original, nor is it in its original location. That's why the bell is missing off of it. Anyway, all I did was unscrew it from there, screw it onto this guy. For some reason, these don't ground through the body. They have a separate ground wire, so I just ran that in the manner that the original was done and over to a ground on the body there. So, looks pretty presentable and very happy to uh, get to use that spool of wire I found in that old barn. So uh, nice uh, big fat fabric wrapped wire that's probably not a lot newer than the car. So pretty uh, pretty happy about that. Okay, after wasting a certain amount of time, we are ready for the test of the 1920s 
Schwarze Electric Company Uga Horn. Frankers, you should probably not be right there. You're going to be scared. Come here. Poor Frankers. Yeah. Nope, you know what? I know it's a nice piece of cardboard, but it's not where you should be sitting. I don't want to honk the horn at you, Frankers. What a good listener. What do you what do you call this? Will it Uga? Anyhow. Uh, let's go. Dramatic tension? Or does it just not work? It's loud and obnoxious. It sounds just right. That actually uh, sounds just perfect. What a great free thing, eh? Just like going in the dump. Ding! Man, that all fits really well. Very happy. time it is, it's time for Dean's Greasy Flips. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I left my headlights on. <laughs> 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V. Yep, got her all the way from Brandon, Manitoba. I mean, it's a good car, uh, if, you, if you're into that. Uh, it's for sale, it's my demo, and it's going cheap. Come have a look at it, what do you say? Hey, sure. another yeah. Ford enthusiast. Oh, for sure. We right? got the Ford wagon bringing us here. <laughs> Wow. Hey, Ash, you yeah. sold or what? Oh, Next yeah. project? I don't know. Let's. Yeah, maybe. Huh? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> maybe Vin had four matching wheels. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually, I do have. Uh, I think I have most of those true smoke weird wheels with it. Most. Yeah, a few blue, a few tires, and but that's okay. I just got some temporaries on there for now. So as for you, now. Yeah. 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 Because you're gonna change them back and put some good ones on. <laughs> <laughs> How's the windshield? It looks pretty good. Oh, the windshield's nice. The heater works good. Uh, a little bit of rot in the fender there. Yeah, you can't see that from. Oh, oh dear. Okay, I gotta. Okay, maybe. Yeah. She's okay. Anyway, the flip-up lights work. The engine runs. It goes into all three gears. You know, I had to have it. it was, you know, I always wanted a another Lincoln Continental. <laughs> Okay, so this here, guys, is a 79 Lincoln Mark V. It's actually kind of a base Continental. It's not a Diamond Jubilee. It's not a Givenchy. It's not any of the designer series. It's just a regular one. And no moonroof or nothing fancy, but it, it's got the comfy, fuzzy interior, and it's, it's probably cheaper than most. What's that? What motor's in it? Oh, shit. Let's check it out. She's actually got a good run 400, as you probably heard earlier. Well, I heard some belt squeal. Was <laughs> that the... I need some belt dressing on there. <laughs> belt dressing, yeah, I'm sure. Oh yeah, there oh, we go. Look at that. Custom red air cleaner lid there. <laughs> now we're hey. Who's doing this, eh? Who's doing this? <laughs> All <laughs> units are carefully prepped before <laughs> sale. <laughs> where's my battery hold down? What? You don't my... even know what a battery hold down <laughs> yeah, that's is. That's right. This engine's got some jam, hey? Oh yeah? Is the carb leaking? Is it or a two is barrel? That... Is it a four barrel? Uh, yes. 
Looks like a little two barrel. It leaks less than I thought it would. I'll give yeah. you that. Okay. It does smell a little mousy. Yeah. But the inside is not. The inside is not. The inside, the inside is not mousy. Oh, just the inside. A little two barrel. A little two yeah. barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. So it's good on yeah. gas then? Uh, good, yeah, good, good on good gas. Good response. <laughs> good student car. That's had worse than this, I think. Well, that's <laughs> not really saying that. That's not saying Let's be yeah. honest yeah. here. Uh, uh, I've had worse car? does not really. <laughs> I mean, let's have a look in the oh, trunk. There. Let's have a look, shall we? Hey, there's bits of the interior in there. And basket wires there and the oh. spare. Oh, so we're just missing one wire Oh, flat spare. Yeah, it's got all the doodads and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Raised what? white letter trail marks. <laughs> like straight off of a CJ7, eh? You're a pirate. Oh my God. I'm no, getting it's in. Not it's not mousy. Oh. Actually kind of kept in the garage. oh, it really looks like a low mileage princess. <laughs> yeah, they got stuck and sprayed some mud on the door there. Yeah, you know, it's okay, I guess. Like, could you not clean the mud off the dash, Dean? Like, I'm not my proudest moment. Is there an 8 track in it? Yes. Oh, oh it does have 8 track, and that's cool. Look below, it's got a cassette device for the 8 track. Oh, oh this is. That's worth keeping. That's worth keeping. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. That cool. A guy needs to have that. Mm hmm. I think it's neat. It's a Mona. Well, when they derby it, Ash will put his number down for this 8-track uh, yeah. adapter. Yeah, yeah, no, we need to yeah. keep that. We'll keep that's, it, yeah. We'll keep it. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? A Dark Side of the Moon yes. air freshener? Yeah, I think it's got yeah. the Dark Side of the Moon Nobody's air ever smoked weed in this car. Yeah. Um, um, okay, that's two yeah. things I want now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dark Side of the Moon air freshener. <laughs> I, I, I knew this was going to be a good yeah. day. <laughs> oh, it's got the Cartier clock yeah, with some mud on it. but yeah. You could drive it home. The brakes actually work. It does have a brake light on, though, I noticed. Maybe the master cylinder is low on fluid, but, it, I mean, <laughs> it would, you know, it'll drive. It drove to that road. Well, you're going to make a killing on this one. Yeah, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to lose By the time you got it towed gonna... here and then towed away and impounded oh, and towed it back yeah, out right. and over here. You're not even impounded. covering your towing on this car. I don't, what am I doing? A chocolate dark brown Lincoln, 79 Lincoln, that's kind of neat, you know? I think it's cool. Oh, it's the only one like it here. Yeah, it's only... <laughs> There's like nine of them here. <laughs> oh, I sold actually quite a few of them before. Yeah. Really? This is just what's left. This is what's left of the Lincoln. Uh, yeah. It's not even slightly mousy. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. And the glass is good. Yeah. So it's not. It's your best car. It's my best car yet, guys. You know what though? Like you're right. It wasn't the. It wasn't horrible. I bought it sight unseen. Yeah, hey, Ash is coming. Hey, Ash. Hey, he for the car. misses. <laughs> he loved, you can have it if you want. Get rid of that new BMW. <laughs> Tell the missus she's driving a Lincoln now. Yeah, I'd be like, honey, I got us a real car. <laughs> Comes with a hat. But this is cool. With a hat, hey. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know it's locked. I don't have a key for that yet. Oh. Sorry, no. I lo There's no key for that. I don't know. The car got impounded in Manitoba. This thing has and spent more time in impound yards. <laughs> this car has been into the impound so many times. I'm surprised I still have it. So am I. Well, you know. Oh, I'll be damned. That's right. what those are supposed to look like. Yeah, I got these off a lady and I helped her clean up her, uh, her junk. Yeah, her junk. I bought a lot of her junk and I, I see that. I kind of hoard them a little bit. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So we got some parts and stuff. We go to the inhaled manual for okay. Lincolns yeah. from 70 to 87. Oh, or, really? Yeah. Okay. They don't really help you much anyways, though. But anyway, <laughs> no. I should probably put this doorbell on and make it look like I'm not such a skid. But, you know, I'm a skid. Shit. It's not the worst one. Do you not know this is the first Greasy thumbnail. Flips car that has ever run? Oh yeah, we drove It's like this a one. miracle. This is a, I'm stepping up in the world. This is this stepping is up. This is actually a car that will drive itself to any demolition derby in town. <laughs> That's right. Ash is just drooling at this oh. 400. Huh? Yeah. You were just talking about building a motor for the van. Now oh. you don't have to. It says 400 on it. Does it? Yeah, it yeah. says 6.6, 6, 6, 400. 400. Yeah. Okay, You're so right. it's a 400, and you know, who, who's going to trust make, They make torque. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they would at seven liters with eight to one compression. Yeah, they yeah. make torque. Yeah. They're, not, yeah. they're not super, they're not super peppy off the line or anything, but no, I, had, no. I had one. I had one yeah. in a Ford truck. They'll okay. pull, it, it'll yeah, pull it itself around. It was a good, yeah, it was a good tow machine. Cool, man.
What's that called? The brake booster there? Is that Hy like a hydraulic? Is hydro a boost. Oh, it is a hydro boost. Oh, she's got hydro The string boost. rod guys might be into that. Cool. I don't know. That seems like a pretty cool piece. Yeah, yeah. Gear Super work. compact. You're gonna, I never tried it, man. Sorry. I, I'll give you $100 right now <laughs> if that thing blows cold air. <laughs> yeah. That's a yeah. fair bet. What color was this? You can't just call it brown. It's got to be like chocolate yeah, mist. Yeah, it was like or chocolate something, like something. Chestnut evenings yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice man. car, Dean. Nice, you know nice find, I buddy. I changed my mind. I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> no longer for sale. No longer for sale. I love it too much. Come on down to Dean's Greasy Flips there. I'll get you a deal on my demo Lincoln. It's got to go. I'm making more room for more inventory. I really appreciate you guys checking out Dean's Greasy Flips. It's been too long. So what are you asking for this? Uh, I'm going to stick to... Yeah, tell you what, guys. I actually have 1200 into it, okay? So just if I can get my money back... It's yours. I got more inventory coming. 1200 Canadian dollars. <laughs> Gotta go. Yeah, I just want someone to look after it. That's all I care about is, you know, take care of it. I don't know, but it could be yours. I mean, come down here, come down. You know what, man, maybe there's something else you like. I don't know, like, there's lots of pickings down here. So this whole Lincoln, 79 Lincoln, brown Mark V, 1200 bucks on the table. That's GST, PSD, all your T's included. Awesome. Thanks, guys. This is, yeah. Really Thanks for it. showing us this sweet Mark V. We'll see you real soon. Thanks a lot, guys. East Clairview, 153rd, take the 17th Street exit, and you're there. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the show today. Uh, we always have a lot of fun putting it together and I uh, hope you guys get a laugh out of it. Uh, obviously just uh, goofing off with my friends, and that's uh, all we've been doing. Also, uh, if you're subscribed, and I hate to keep bringing it up, please double check. Just because at this point YouTube is unsubscribing probably two thirds of the people that subscribe to this channel for whatever their reasons that they might make up are even my close friends get unsubscribed and the notifications get turned off and whatever so please double check and uh, I uh, as always want to extend a very special thank you to the patrons of the channel who make it possible to put the amount of effort in that it takes to make something that I think is worth watching here uh, you know that's debatable but it is entirely because of them that I even try so thank you so much guys uh, and also please uh, tell your friends about the channel if you think they might like it uh, YouTube will never suggest my videos for any number of reasons and I won't get into that you know I've been doing this longer than the people who own YouTube so I uh, you know I leave it to uh, to you who have encouraged me to keep doing it uh, thank you very much guys have a terrific week I'll put up something in the middle of the week for everybody and we'll see everybody very soon ready menace is a regular ah, contributor. same old shit
Trans looks a little bit more like a truck going down the wrong uh-huh. way. Yeah, for sure. Pretty good. Yeah. The Trev and its spring colors.